What up, dudes? ZR Car back again with another video. Today, I want to talk about the camper life and the struggles with air conditioning and generators. So, I have this 2500 watt Westinghouse and it says 2200 running watts. So, it took me quite a bit to figure out how to run the air conditioner in this thing. And um, I wish it didn't because there's a couple times we actually had to leave the camper because it was just too freaking hot to be in there. Like today, it's 90 degrees and it's probably 95 inside of there. So I want to show you how I figured out how to run this. 15,000 BTU AC. It's a yeah, limited model, 26 dBH, uh, double bunkhouse. It's a little dirty because we just got back from camping. But I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, I see 93 in here. So what I figured out is the converter which charges the battery, is right here. And if that's on, that takes up to 400 watts, so we can't have that on. The water heater is pretty much nil. It doesn't matter. It's not even turned on. Um, so the uh, reefer, that's got to be off. Um, this is actually just extra. Uh, let's see, microwave. Basically, we'll turn everything off except the AC and the main. So, here's the Coleman Mach Series. And I'll show you the startup. Let me check on those dogs because they're going crazy. Puppies. Hey, stay over here. Chasing anything that flies. All right, so I did a video where I was pretty disappointed on this Westinghouse because it wouldn't run the stinking AC, but I didn't know that the fridge and the converter mainly just take 800 watts by themselves, so ain't nobody got time for that. All right, so let's see. We'll turn the choke on. I'll give her a whirl. so crazy oh it's the reflection so I also figured out that starting amps has a big thing to do with it too like I think this is like 18 point something starting amps so we'll plug this bad boy in and nothing should happen Yeah, see, no change. Shouldn't matter. All the breakers are off. I'll take it out of eco mode, just so it doesn't surge super bad. And first thing we'll do is turn on just the fan. Fan to low. This should kick on. There it goes. Alright, so I'll give that, I don't know, 20 seconds. Just let the generator kind of get acclimated. Let's do another 10 seconds. Alright, so. We'll go to cool low. And hopefully it stays running. Nope, overloaded. All right, 
so we're back in. It uh, definitely overloaded it. <laughs> and it didn't do it last time. So I'm going to try it again. And I put the generator in, in eco mode because it worked fine last time in eco mode. So we'll go to cool low. See if it overloaded again. Yeah, it overloaded again. All right. So something kind of crazy happened. Um, it wasn't this hot last time I tried it, and it worked fine. So I think that uh, density altitude is getting through the generator a little bit. Okay, but I tricked it. Okay, all the breakers are still off. And what I did was I went to fan high and um, let that run for a minute or probably 30 seconds. And then I changed it to cool low. And what that did was the surge wasn't as bad on it that time. So it's so close to running it that that density altitude changes it. So density altitude definitely affects this generator. And that's a big deal if you know how to trick it. Again, all those breakers are off and uh, it's in low cool. You can feel the coldness. We'll see how long it lasts. Actually, the, as soon as it's running and there's no soft start, nothing like that. As soon as it's running, the generator isn't even maxed out. I don't think it's so. Yeah, so the generator actually says it's at the uh, 50%. So it's just that initial draw that kills it. All right. We'll turn everything off. We'll do it again. Okay, you can hear the generator kick down. <clears throat> now, I'll show you what I did. Let's go, let's just go fan low and see if I can kill it again. Okay, fan low for like 20 seconds. You can hear it kick on. And after a little bit, I'll go to uh, low cool. And if I'm, if that density altitude is truly too high, the uh, generator is gonna um, overvolt. So we'll give it another five seconds. All right, so let's go to low cool and see if the generator says nope. Okay, so it actually did it that time, which is cool. But I did trick it before by going high fan and then low cool. It's kind of interesting that it's that close. It's pretty impressive though. Right about 36, I call it 3,500 uh, MSL. You add the density altitude and it puts us at like, I don't know, 55 at least. Hope everybody's doing good. That's just a little video to show you that the Westinghouse iGen 2500 will actually run this Coleman Mach Series 15,000 in a pinch. No soft start. All right, guys. So we just did an iGen 2500 test running the 15,000 uh, Mach Series Coleman air conditioner. This is a 26 DBHL Double Bunkhouse Limited Alpha Wolf. And I'll show you the air conditioner. No soft start, nothing like that. 
just did a video where uh, I actually had to kind of trick the generator so the surge wasn't so great. And the reason is the density altitude is so high today. So normally at uh, 59 degrees Fahrenheit, we're at 3,500 MSL, mean sea level. When it gets this hot, that density altitude goes up to, uh, you know, considerably higher. We're probably at 5,500 today. So it's even harder to start those loads when the density altitude's higher. So um, really hard to use 20 amp service and get that air conditioner to run. Um, again, I just did a video on the iGen. You can do it. You almost have to trick it. If the density altitude is any higher than 5,500, it's probably not gonna work. And remember that density altitude can go down if it's cooler, um, for instance, in the mountains, something like that. One of the key things is turning off. Again, this is not a how-to video. This is just a how I do it. Um, key things is turning off all these breakers. So the only ones I have on is AC and main. Remember this uh, fridge will rob 400 watts and the converter charging the battery will also run at least another 400. So you want all those off. All right, so first thing I wanna do is go, let's go fan low. Actually, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna give it the most chance that it can have. So I'm gonna go fan high. Okay, so I'm just trying to limit that surge as much as I can. We know without the compressor going fan high, no problem. Probably what, 400 watts, um, 10 amps, something like that, maybe less. So, I'm gonna let that run for a little while. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is minimize the surge on the house, just like we were trying to minimize the surge on the iGen 2500. So I'll let this run for another five seconds, maybe 10. And then I'll kick it to cool low. Okay, because I'm trying to minimize the surge and we'll see if it kicks the breaker low see that okay so it's trying it's not liking it you can hear it's running really slow wouldn't be surprised if it kicks the breaker it's the second one down okay so it's doing it you can tell it's pretty at a pretty low speed though so at least it didn't kick the breaker right away, that's good. Okay, so what I did is I minimized the surge by going from um, fan high to cool low. Okay, so that's the ticket. Um, again, that density altitude is key. Um, basically, density altitude is uh, um, sea level pressure corrected for non-standard temperature all right hit that like button hit that subscribe button all right Peace. just for kicks i'm back okay you can see it's definitely cooling down in here even though the door is open um okay you gotta be real careful with that 20 uh amp service on just the regular 120 volt so i've got all the breakers off and just for kicks we're gonna see if it can handle cool high. I don't think it can. It'll probably kick the breaker. Ooh, it did it. Again, my uh, surge is really low. I've got all of those breakers off. So, not to mention the compressor have been running for a little while. So the surge wasn't bad. As soon as it gets going, man, five minutes or so, those amps are probably down to even 15 on a 20 amp service. So 
Anyways, but also an honorable mention, um, we have the Alpha Wolf 26 DBHL. Stands for Double Bunk House Limited. Okay, so um, we had a pretty big problem with this air conditioning breaker. I just did uh, two or three videos about how to minimize the surge. So that breaker doesn't pop and the air conditioner works. Um, just want to do a little caveat here. So I did have to replace this breaker because I popped it so many times. It just wasn't going to do it. So found it like 10 bucks at Ace Hardware um, here in Montana. Just um, they say to make sure that all the specs on them read exactly the same. And uh, the guy at Ace said you even want the same manufacturer, which uh, is probably true. So basically this panel just comes off. Um, there's, uh, I assume a hot lead coming in here or a negative, I can't remember, and it comes out, but to use the air conditioner, the rest of those have to be off with a 20 amp service. Also mentioned in the videos that, uh, these propane electric, um, refrigerators pull a crap ton of power, like 400 watts, even the converter, um, will initially spike the 400, um, so that's 800 watts it's robbing from your air conditioner to start off with, and, uh, ain't nobody got time for that. But, we've had the camper for almost two years now, and finally starting to figure out these little things. Hope it helps. Peace!